Airbnb had a big move here. Uh, Airbnb 138 rejected twice on the daily needs to build. Again, the same type of chart as uh, Dash, right? Again, not nobody's looking at it from the night before. Most traders are not looking for the charts down here. They're looking for the charts up here. So you see this whole channel here, 138, 139, and stock traded right to one, uh, 143. Big move on uh, Airbnb. Guys, start looking at those charts that are coming off the bottom of the you. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access a Trader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Again, usually I take my uh, Thursday nights off, uh, but if you guys remember, I didn't do a video on Tuesday, so I'm kind of flip-flopping days here. So hope, hopefully everybody's okay. Uh, again, a really good market, right? Very good aggressive uh, market. Uh, technology uh, is very strong. They're starting to really rotate into a lot of names, giving big moves and then resting, giving big moves and then resting. We're seeing that over and over and over again. And when you look at the big aggressive speculation capital and that's where you know that's where the market gets its cues no, no matter how good other groups are if speculation money doesn't come in and doesn't come in aggressively you don't have a good market you don't have a, any aggression uh, in your market the only thing you have are stocks moving up and down and i'll tell you one thing man these moves and we, we started briefly talking about the last couple of days no matter what you think of these stocks right uh gamestop and what amc did today which which was out of its mind, right? I mean, keep this in mind. This is a movie theater. So <laughs> the fact that people are bidding up these stocks, whatever you call them, chasing or bidding up or tr whatever you want to call them, they're here, right? They're absolutely here. And when you looked at AMC and it went to 30 bucks today, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, when you look at AMC, again, you didn't, you're not paying attention to the retail flow. You're not paying attention to the diamond hands to the moon, right? You're paying attention to the option flow. There were you could tell they were coming in with some really big institutional money flow. They were coming in with hundreds of thousands of dollars in especially short-term expiration like tomorrow, right? I saw bets come in for the 30s, the 35s. Some dude came in, just threw 120 grand out there for the $39 calls that expire tomorrow. So, you, you, I mean, that is your really good case of, hey, the market is strong. People are willing to take on risk, whether they're irresponsible risk, whatever the case may be, who the hell am I to judge? It's on them, but the point is it's there. So when you look at the IWM, and we discussed this last night, right? The IWM did a great job today. It gapped up, reclaimed the 50-day moving average, and now it just needs one more level here. This top of the chair area here, this roughly uh, 226 area on a rebound to get back to relatively all-time highs. The market is very in a good place. Uh, we also saw exactly what we saw, uh, what we talked about last night, right? We saw the volume starting to shrink and you saw that around you know 11 o'clock or so around lunchtime or so starting to shrink in a lot of names again maybe everybody was just kind of looking or trying to participate in all these meme stocks but the point is we saw the volume dry up we talked about it yesterday people are going on vacation people are on vacation they're taking advantage of this three-day weekend but what also on the other hand we also talked about what is possibly going to happen more and more stocks that come up more and more stocks going to come out of channels on bottoms. And that's what a good, healthy market is. So going into tomorrow's session, and again, the scoreboard is really not going to paint a picture. You have the Dow up 145 points. You have the NASDAQ composite uh, down about one point. Obviously, the uh, IWM did an incredibly good job. And it does show you more and more case that sellers, what we talked about yesterday, sellers are very comfortable at these levels. There's no reason uh, to put selling pressure on a name unless it's some, some really specific market news. And you could tell how crazy this tape is, or how crazy the tape is starting to get with Tesla, right? We talked about Tesla right now, uh, last night coming out of this channel here. This is what only it did for the last five, seven minutes of the day, right? I mean, this is called completely abnormal. Uh, but again, this is what really shows you where the market is right now. Uh, and again, this is program trading. This isn't, you know, this isn't a group of traders bidding the shares up. 
But the point is the scoreboard is a scoreboard. And now you have, you have Tesla in this whole gap fill scenario measure potential uh, all the way up into the 650, 660 level, which you're going to see a lot of names are starting to do a lot of things. So when you look at the today's pivots, and, and I'll be honest with you, I was stunned how much value we actually had today, right? I, I didn't anticipate, you know, I was thinking, all right, maybe Tesla, what we talked about last night in the video, you know, Tesla looks good. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe ZS was going to wake up. Facebook, you know, started a really good channel uh, that it confirmed today their earnings high. So I was thinking to myself, I said, you know, maybe we'll get a couple of things here. And, you know, maybe after, after the first channel, everything will die out and people start maybe taking the early day. But I was surprised. You started seeing bottom channels coming out, names like DoorDash, names like, uh, Airbnb continuation channels that we spoke about yesterday on a stock like uh, SPCE, really, really strong move. Uh, a name that I was watching that closed right into the bell uh, that looks really, really good for tomorrow as well. A name, for example, like an IQ. So you've seen these bottom charts all waking up one by one. And that, again, is called the healthy market, a good market that is coming from a bottom base, which is always the best one to trade. You don't want to trade off the top. You want to trade off the bottom. And the more and more volume that we get or lack of volume that we get selling pressure to the downside on days that the market doesn't rally, it really does show you the overall breadth, the good breadth, the overall strength in the market. And coming into next week, unless we get some really crazy curveball, uh, political, corona, anything, right, anything, uh, you have to assume we continue to get really good bullish market action uh, going into uh, next week. So let's talk about taste pivots. Uh, again, I was pretty surprised, right? I was pretty surprised about today's session. Um, there was a lot of really good moves and there's still a lot of names that I like uh, for tomorrow that didn't trigger today. Uh, but overall, good stuff, good stuff. So uh, not a big move, not a big move on uh, Zoom. Uh, 330 got rejected twice, needs to build. Not a big move at all. Uh, here was Zoom. It took out that 330 level, only went up a buck. That's it, only went up a buck. And then it kind of sat there, did nothing for the rest of the day. ZS, I still like. Look at this consolidation on ZS, guys. It didn't trigger today, but it had a really good, huge move yesterday on earnings, relaxed today, and it's just sitting there, just stalking this top of the channel. One of these days, they're going to get crazy option flow, and this thing's going to really, really explode. So keep ZS, right? Keep uh, ZS... Uh, on your watch list uh, for the next uh, few days. Uh, space, big move here, right? Space, we talked about in last night's video. Uh, 2785, 28 needs to build. Here was space, right? Here was space. So here's your 2785, 28 level. Just absolutely exploded. Uh, went all the way to 32. Congratulations for all you guys uh, who caught it, who are still in it. Really, really monster move there. Uh, FUTU did not give a second entry. Uh, 141, 142 needs to build. Look at FUTU. I, I still like FUTU, right? I still like it. It just didn't confirm that 42 level close right in between. But this thing still looks good for tomorrow. I think if it starts building off that 42 tomorrow, guys, maybe this thing finally wakes up. Good looking chart. Really, really good looking chart there. Uh, Dash, nice move on Dash. I thought it could get the 52 area. Went a little bit above it. Uh, 147 needs to build. Here was Dash, right? Here was Dash. Took out this whole 147, traded right to uh, 155. Really, really strong move. The next macro area is going to be this linear regression line, but a huge move. Really, really big move. And again, if you see the common denominator by all these charts, right? They're all coming off the bottom, right? Think about it. Look at it. You know, nobody, nobody, nobody's really concentrating on these names, but they put in a channel, right? And they put in a long distribution and then they explode. Uh, if you look at a space, they did the same thing. Maybe not the same uh, type of chart, but in the same area below supply. So you can still find a lot of value that if stocks are underneath supply, then the stocks are above. And considering that we did sell the market for about three weeks, you're going to get a lot more bottoming out process than you are from the top. So really big moves there as well. Uh, Baidu, I'm still watching for tomorrow. I really like this channel here. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Again, not a big move. 100 needs to build. Uh, this is a continuation from yesterday's move. So it took out 100, only went to like 101.30 before uh, it retraced. Um, Airbnb had a big move here. Uh, Airbnb 138 rejected twice on the daily needs to build. Again, the same type of chart as uh, Dash, right? Again, not 
nobody's looking at it from the night before. Most traders are not looking for the charts down here. They're looking for the charts up here. So you see this whole channel here, 138, 139, and stock traded right to one, uh, 143. Big move on uh, Airbnb. Guys, start looking at those charts that are coming off the bottom. I'm telling you, that is where the biggest value is. This is where natural order flow is coming from. And you're not fighting retail for nickels and dimes. They're really big order flow coming in. And this name uh, saw weekly uh, 140 and 150 call buyers came in right from the word go on Airbnb. So Dick's take on the way up. Unfortunately, there's only like a dollar and change. Uh, VLDR, you know, VLDR was very odd. It went up to, uh, yesterday's pivot was 1085. It went to like 1156 and some news came out and just really, really slammed the stock. Again, it is what it is. Uh, Dash take on the way up. Uh, space obviously take on the way up. But I said, listen, great action this morning. Really, really good action. What you guys didn't see here, um, I traded Tesla like three times off 60 minute bounces. It were really, really good this morning. But I'll show you. You see that candle in the last five, five minutes? That was the one that really set it off. Uh, Facebook, 331.80, needs to build. That's the earnings highs. They're coming for the 32.50, 33.35. Again, order flow, right? Option order flow is preceding these moves. And you can see, you know, Tesla, uh, Facebook had a really, really strong move. It took out this whole channel here, closed, uh, closed pretty much at the highs. Once it gets above 334 again, it's going to power up. So nice move on Facebook, uh, Airbnb, new highs, kind of coming for the 40s, the 50s, right? Take on the way up, bingo. Uh, macro supply is 45, went to 44. Big move there as well. IQ, again, I like this chart. Uh, IQ, nice close here. Uh, 1440 needs to build. It closed right at the high of the day at 1457. Beautiful chart. Check, check it out, guys. I think there's a continuation on this thing for tomorrow. Again, bottom charts, right, folks? You're looking at this bottom chart. So you're getting that move into supply. You're getting distribution. And once it gets through supply, you can see where the next potential could be on IQ. Um, 29, so their first supply there as well. Um, and Tesla, did I not put a Tesla pivot? Did I not put, am I going crazy? Did I not, did I not, did I not put a Tesla pivot in here? Because we all had it in, in the webinar. If I didn't, I apologize. I absolutely apologize. Anyway, uh, there was a pivot here, obviously, towards the end of the day here. It needed to clear out that 629 level. And you could see the spike into the close. Really, really big move into the close into the 30s uh, as well. So if Tesla confirms tomorrow, guys, I mean, again, look how much room you have here. And the one thing we do know, speculation money loves Friday weekly expiration on options. We have a probably a short condensed day tomorrow, even though it's a full day tomorrow. You can have a lot of people. If they didn't leave today for vacation. They're going to go tomorrow. So you're probably going to get a good condensed action tomorrow in probably the first two, three hours of the day. So that's it, everybody. Hope everybody does well. Uh, tomorrow, have a great weekend. Uh, one really cool announcement for all you guys who are uh, thinking about joining us uh, in the webinar next weekend. Um, I think the guys are running uh, a really cool sale uh, on the on the webinar. It's like 47 bucks, whatever it is. Um, it's like 30 days of, of the live webinar. It's really, really cool. If you ever thought about uh, trading uh, pivots, right? This is a really cool way uh, to kind of see if it is the right fit for you. It also comes with all the workshops that you have to uh, really sink your teeth in this weekend to kind of break down uh, all the moving parts. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend, everybody. God bless. Happy Memorial Day. And I'll see you guys uh, Tuesday, right? Take care, guys. Have a good day.